this is Leach 83, how we doing? Welcome to part 19 of Forever Celtic, where we take the lowest possible team made up of players past and present and try and turn it into the best possible squad that we can. Now if you're new to the series, then check out the playlist in the description, which will take you all the way back to show you the team that we started off with and the team which is the end goal of the series. Now at the moment we've currently got um, four or five, I think, um, of the players that are in the final team. With us just now, those are Fraser Foster, uh, Virgil van Dijk, uh, Dedrick Boyata, Emilio Azagiri in form, um, Wanyama, and it's actually six, and then um, Robbie Keane. They all feature in the final squad, um, and they are all they're, they're all in place just now. We've got three upgrade points left to use for the team, um, and what we'll do is we'll um, keep a hold. In fact, no, we'll not. We'll, we'll just change it up just now. We'll take out Adam Matthews. Um, and we'll make the final change for the defence, which is to bring in um, Mikael Lustig. Now Mikael Lustig is still with the team at the moment, so we'll put him in there. That will cost us one upgrade point to put Lustig in that place. Um, still does okay with the, the chemistry, so that's perfectly fine. Um, and that's another position filled. So, the only positions we've got left to do now are one more for the midfield. Um, we'll change back to 4-4-2 and we'll change out um, Sean Maloney's got another change there's maybe one or two we could change before we change up the final position for the, what, what will be the right mid um, and then we've got one more striker to put in place um, who we may be able to feature soon if we can get enough points to get him in so we've got two upgrade points remaining let's get into another game and see if we can add to that points tally um, if you're new to the series, as I say, make sure you check out the playlist. But it is one point for every goal we score, one point for a draw, and three points for the win. Um, so obviously, a couple of goals and a win it gives us enough points to push forward as we go through. So let's see what we come up against in this team. We're playing in foot divisions as always, and no doubt will be a tricky opponent in this one if he ever decides to hit the old ready button. So let's see what's going on. Are you playing, mate? Yes. Okay, you, oh, mate, doesn't matter. Opponents left, great. That was down to the strips, I think. Let's try again and see if we can get an opponent back in again. That wasn't ideal. So yeah, as I say, we're playing in foot divisions, which is a bit of a test for us at times. Um, we're currently in division five. Um, and sometimes when you, you can play against some right crazy teams, and if you look, as I say, look back into the previous episodes, we played against some scary teams and outperformed ourselves, whereas we have played against some, like, not too bad teams. And um, it's just the way that it goes sometimes. So, let's see what we're up against this time. We've got a Serie A team with Azamoa, eh, Morata and Cordardo. We've got Pjanic, Nangolin and Marquisio, eh, Alexandro. Cialini and Brazagli at the back with Litsteiner and then Buffon in net. It's a strong team, very, very strong defence as well. So let's see how we go. Hopefully we can get a couple of goals. Oh my god, what's an absolute screaming of a goal? It bounced up for Wanyama and he smashed it into the back of the net. We should have had a free kick. But Wanyama just took it on the half volley. Lovely finish, 1-0. Scott Brown from distance. Oh, what a fucking goal by Bruni. A fantastic distance shot. Came out after the corner. And the Browns just lashed it right in the top corner. To be fair, Buffon off his line. But he should still be doing better than that. And it's 2 0. Well, that was an absolutely fantastic dominant display in that game. And gave us a 2 0 victory, which gives us five upgrade points from that game. Uh, two for the goals, three for the win, so that gives us six in total. Outstanding display by the midfield, and we just pressed and pressed, and we managed to take advantage of poor play. Look at the shot difference, 19 shots to 14 on target, to two shots and one on target from my opponent. We dominated the game, and it showed. Um, well, obviously, you've just seen the highlights of the goals. I would have put it in, but the videos are long enough as it is. But anyway, hope um, we can take this good momentum and use it in our next game. As I say, we've got six upgrade points. We're going to keep a hold of them just now. And let's see if we can get another game going just now. 
Okay, so going into the second game of the episode then, using the same team, and let's see what we come up against in this occasion. As I said before that previous game, come up against some right good teams, and sometimes we're just taking ourselves by surprise and performing well over what we should be performing. And it's it's amazing when it happens. It um, doesn't happen too often, I must say, but it is good when it does come together. So, let's see what this guy's got available as his team, and... See if we can add to those six. Oh my god, I don't see he's adding anything to this one. That's an absolutely superb squad. Neymar, Suarez, Bale up front, Iniesta, Modric, and, uh, Rodriguez, Marcelo, Pique, Ramos, um, Danilo, I think it was. And then I can't remember who the goalkeeper was, but it's a very, very strong league, a BVVA team. So let's see how we go and try our best in this one. That's a great ball by Griffiths, looking for Maloney. Put it away, son! Oh, yes! Get the fuck in there! What a goal! Brilliant! Up against this team, that is an excellent goal. We'll take that as 1 0. Try and get something on the break. Nice play, Celtic. Scott Brown. That's a fantastic pass. Looking for Mackay Stevens in the box. Oh, he's put that away, it's 2 nothing. Get the fuck in there. What a goal, what a result. Might not have won it yet, but to go two ahead against this team is an absolute fantastic performance. Great counter-attacking football. Scott Brown, finding Mackay Steven, he lashes at home. At the near post to make it do. Well, I messed up the recording, but Lee Griffiths has just scored an absolute banger to make it 3-1. We're almost at the death of the game. The guy's team is outstanding and we've just outplayed him completely. He's got Bale, he's got Tebe, uh, sorry, Bale, Neymar, um, Suarez. He's got some team, some defence and we're just ripping right through him. Robbie Keane going at him again. As I say, in the 90th minute now, we're taking advantage of mistakes. And Robbie Keane's up the bar. <laughs> he should have made it four. Oh well, that was ideal. What a performance, really. Uh, it should have been 4 there at the end, but 3-1 um, is an absolutely delightful result and that gives us 3 points for the goals, 3 points for the win which is 6, add that to the 6 points which we had which gives us 12 upgrade points. Now, we may be able to make a super addition to the team, so let me just have a little look at things and we'll go and have a, a look at the team and see how it goes. But for that game, as I say, we really played great, 15 shots, 9 in target. Opponent had 14 shots with 5 on target, and um, he slightly edged the possession, but we played really, really well once again, and um, big performances, so that's all good. Sorry I missed up the recording there for the Griffiths goal at the end, but a 3-1 victory, as I say, so let me have a look at the team and see what we can do now. Okay, I had hoped to bring in another player, but unfortunately we're just 3 upgrade points short, and um, we've got 12 at the moment, I need 15 to make the change that I want to make, and um, so... For that reason, we'll play one more game and see if we can get somebody. Don't know why this is happening. This is happening more often than not when you're trying to get games on foot divisions lately. Um, keeps going up saying no opponents found. It's a bit of pain in the ass. But nonetheless, we'll persevere. And let's see if we can get an opponent just now and see, as I say, if we can get those three more upgrade points to add to the kitty to bring in this other player that we want. I'm not going to give away anything just now by saying who it is. So we just need to wait and see how we perform in this game and to see what we're up against. For two real good displays so far this episode against another strong squad here with uh, Sanchez, Benzema, Bale, um, Carzola, Biscuits and Modric and Cliché, Kachelny, uh, Sergio Ramos, Juan Fran and then Petr Cech and goal. So it should be a good game. Let's hopefully we can get a result. Nice ball, Wanyama, not the player I necessarily want out wide. It's a good ball in the middle. Maloney's there to pick it up. Maloney, to Keane. Oh yes, an early goal. It's 1-0. <laughs> I can't believe it. Two more to go. Two more points required. That's one so far. Let's build on this. Come on. Looking for Griffiths, he should be able to get onto it. Lee Griffiths, yes, it's 2 0. 
It's 2-0. The new striker is in sight. Lovely play. Lee Griffiths puts it away, makes it 2-0. Come on. Could have sweated it. Went himself, lashed at home. Lovely goal. And we've got a disconnection. Not sure what went on there. I'm taking it as a rage. I don't give a shit. In fact, I, I could even take it without it. Doesn't matter. From that, we've got another... Let me just count it up. Two points for two goals, three points for the win, and two for the rage. Would give us seven points. Add that on to the 12 we already have. Give us 19 points in the bank. And it's time to introduce a new striker to the team. Stay with me. Stay tuned. We're going to add them to the squad just now. And we're going to jump in another game. Okay, so as I said, we had 19 upgrade points and we're going to use 15 of them right now. And as you can see, we've taken out Lee Griffiths, who's been excellent for us, and we are bringing in the King of Kings, Henrik Larsson, back in the Celtic squad and into our team. Another final member of the, the final squad um, in the team already, and he looks proper good. 84 pace, 85 shooting, 73 passing, 84 dribbling. Um, and decent stats, I've used them before and I know how good he is. Bought him for 270,000 coins and um, we're going to use him in this last game of the episode. Feels only fitting that we give him a chance and a run out in the team. So let's see, in fact, just to make sure he's still got some fitness. Yeah, he's, he's fine. Right, so we'll use him in this team and hopefully we can add to the points. So we've got four upgrade points remaining if my maths is correct. Um, so it's almost not what's from here. We're almost finished the team. We've only got two more changes, or three more changes, sorry, left to make to the squad. And then that'll be us done. It does cost us a few upgrade points, mind you, to get there. But hopefully we can get them put together now that we have the King of Kings back in the team. Now, obviously, it's um, it's all good. It's, you know, we're getting into the nitty gritty this season's. We'll probably maybe get another few episodes left depending on how the points go. So hopefully we'll go well. Um, rather than me rabbiting on, let's see if we can get a point and we'll see what we're up against. Okay, so we've finally got an opponent after quite a bit of searching. And let's see what Henrik is up against in his first game for the team. Strong looking BPL team with Remy and Welbeck up front, Balassi, Payette. Roberto Firmino, Walcott, we've got Darmian, uh, Gabriel Zuma and Baba in the defence and then had out of chemistry Casilla in goals. So let's see how we got on in this one. Hopefully we can get a result. Arson for Mackay Steven. Mackay Steven back to Henrik, he's been body checked but he's still going strong. He's into the box. Henrik Larson! Henrik Larson! Oh! <laughs> he's just too fucking good. Oh, and the King is back. Need to change that number. Definitely need to get that number fixed. He's not number nine, but he runs into the box, just no stop him, and then tucked away nicely. 1 0. Kick off at the second half now. Look at Larson on the ball, just gonna run at him. Just gonna run at the guy's defence. Larson makes him look like fools. Oh, Henrik! Henrik Larson! Unbelievable performance, unbelievable goal. And it's 2-0, right from kick-off, have a run at him, they can't touch him, and he's stuck it away for 2-0. Just not, not, no skills, just dribbling in, and a nice side foot finish. 2-0, ball, Wanyama, Robbie Keane, Henrik, Henrik makes it free, free nothing. Henrik the King with the hat-trick in his first game, can't get any better than that. Just dogmatic play there. Finally getting it in and he gets it in under the goalkeeper. 3 0. Oh, he's managed to get a goal back in the 69th minute. He played it into the box and I think it's Payette. And it's 3 1. We're in the box, one yellow. Larson! 4-0! Well, 4-1. <laughs> and it's four goals for the King. Absolutely great debut performance for the Forever Celtic team. And honestly, this is the moment I've been waiting for. This, this series has been all about is to bring the best of the best back to the teams. Never mind your Tony Watts 
and your Lee Griffiths and the players like that, this is the players we want to see. We want to see the Henricks and that's what it's all about. 4-1. Well, that was a fantastic one-man performance in that game. It's four goals for Henrik in his debut for the team. He gratefully takes the match ball there from the ref. And you can't get much better than that. So that's another seven points. Um, so that gives us 11 upgrade points in total that we can use in the next episode. And who knows, we may have another legend coming to the team very soon. But nonetheless, I'll leave this one here. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, then please drop the likes. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.